Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. My name is Kenesha and you're tuned into the life of Kenesha. And today we're doing press on nails. So if you want to see how I got these bone press on nails, then keep watching. hey babes i know i've been missing for a while but we're back with another video so first thing first we're going to start off with picking what style of nails we want and this is the brand that i chose to use kiss um personally my favorite brand um quality nails and everything and then we're just going to get all of our materials together so what you just saw me pick up was some acrylic primer i'm not sure if i was using it incorrectly but um i didn't like it um, I also have a cuticle cutter. Um, it came in like this little mini manicure set that I have. So I use that very often. Um, and what I'm just doing now is showing you all of the other tubes that comes in the box. Of course, read your directions if you are new to this. And it basically just give you all the basic needs and steps on what to do to apply your nails. But this is by far my favorite nail glue um i probably have like 10 of these right now but um that is just the pink gel i'm not sure if that makes a difference in the whole but i personally keep my nails on for two to three weeks um and this is without any acrylic on my nails just simple nail glue and it also comes with this cuticle pusher as well as the little mini file that you guys see I do use that um but I do also have my own products that I get from like local beauty supply stores or you know Amazon or whatever so I'm just gonna push my cuticle back and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off any excess cuticle um, that I see that can be trimmed and after I'm done with that I'm just going to file my nails um don't do what i do with the cuticle um cutter anytime i have a hangnail i make it worse by taking the cutter and cutting it don't do that you're gonna mess up your hands so please don't follow my direction and doing so with that but i'm just showing you guys what i'm doing and that's pretty much what happened there um when you guys saw me get the nail clipper i had a hangnail that had to go <laughs> And I pretty much just made it worse. So, yeah. right now here you guys see me going in with the drill this is just a i guess you could say a standard drill that i picked up from my local walmart um what i like to do is just get off any excess glue that i've had from a previous um install or any cuticle that i've missed um i just go back in with the drill bit and i try and you know um, get rid of all of that and I also do it to remove any excess shine that I have on my nails um, because any oils or anything of that sort will allow your nail to not adhere to your nail bed um, due to it being full of oil or anything like that so that's just what I go in with and I am very thorough in doing so so you may see me taking my time and trying to steady my hand and everything. So I pretty much just do that. Um, and then I go back in with the little mini nail file just to show you guys that you do um, have that option to do so. You don't have to do what I do. And I know it may look like my nails are um, 
not as I guess you can say dry or powdery from me drilling my nails um I do go in with a alcohol pad on a cotton round just to clean up my nails and everything um and more so like dehydrate it because essentially you're supposed to dehydrate your nails before you do anything to prevent fungus or moisture or anything like that in your nails um I personally haven't had any issues with mine but um to keep hygiene and everything okay I personally just go in with a cotton round and some alcohol um 90% isoprol um alcohol I don't know if I'm saying it correctly but the clear alcohol um that's the one that I go in with and what you see me doing right here is just sizing my nails um I think that these had numbers on them so I was able to just find the nail by looking at the numbers. I have had some nails um, that doesn't have the numbers on there. And I just have to like wing it and try to figure out which one is which. And if you see me pushing the nail in, um, I try and go under my cuticle. If that makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it in a proper manner for you guys. But I try and like push it under my cuticle. Um, that's why I try to get as close to the camera as possible. So that you guys will see exactly how I was putting it on. Because that's how I'm going to glue it on. So maybe that plays a part in how I keep my nails on so long. But that's just what I'm doing. So I'll let y'all watch me go through and pick out these nails and everything. And I'll be back and show y'all how, how I install them. placing it on my nail I'm actually sliding it down my nail bed and up under that cuticle and once I get it good up under there I just press it down really really hard <laughs> and I usually prevent any um, bubbles in my nails or underneath the nail rather um, and it usually stays on and lays straight flat for me so I'll show you guys that one more time and then I'll show you guys the finished results.
all right you guys so here is the finished results and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching let me know if any of these tips help you out let me know if you decide to try press on nails like just leave me some feedback in the comments thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't um and let's chat in the comments